how a Toronto Pearson currently serves some 35 million passengers. It's the 16th busiest airport in the world in terms of aircraft movements. Given the annual increase in PACs, how do you envisage growth for the airport in the coming years to handle capacity? Well, there's two things uh, that, that, that limits the growth in the airport. One is obviously the runway capacity, and we still have some capacity. And the other one is when the aircraft land, you've got to be a capacity to park them and service them through the terminal building. Uh, based on the, the work that was done before in expanding the airport, adding new runways and adding the new terminal, we have the capacity to handle the aircraft uh, movements and us passenger probably for the next 10, 15 years. We're in the process of doing master plan right now uh, to realize and look at what in the future, how do we handle 60 million, which we're forecasting will probably upon us in about 20, 25 years. Metrolinx will be an important addition to the overall infrastructure at the airport. I mean, how is that progressing right now? Very well, actually. They're, they're, if, if you're driving through, if anybody going through, through Toronto and you, you're driving up to any of the departure curb, you see this huge, huge uh, construction pilings and, and, and the platform coming in. Uh, I think they're on time. Uh, their, their schedule is to be completed late or in the fall or in the winter of uh, 2014, so they have a capacity to do six-month trial before actual opening in the middle of 2015. And so far, as far as I know, the construction is on schedule, and it will be a wonderful project. Being what allowing. difference will it make? Well, it allows, a, for, for me, I mean, even though it's, it's really to downtown Toronto, but I think it allows people that live and work around the area, especially business partners, business people, time certainty. Right? You, can, you can get off the airport, you get on the train, and about 28, 29 minutes, you're downtown, or reverse uh, when you come back up. So therefore, that allows you to plan your day much more efficiently. Toronto Pearson is, of course, already a major hub, serving both Air Canada and Star Alliance. Um, now, in your website, you refer to the airport as being fast and friendly. But how much effort are you actually spending in delivering a total experience for your guests that will not only win over your travelling passengers but airlines to come through your doors? Uh, well, certainly we work with the airline continuously to look at improving service and we're working with our partner Air Canada who, who does a lot of transfer passengers and WestJet, the other domestic carrier, to look at ways to speed it up. There's two things, I think. Uh, there's, the cust there's the efficiency, customer service is important. You know, people getting their bags you know, or, or, or being able to go through security. So, so we work with all the business partners to, to work and try to deliver that service as quickly as possible. I think that is a very important part because, for example, as a departing passenger, a lot of time after you go through the security process, before you, because normally you're a little bit tense waiting to go through in queue, but once you go through that process, you can relax. And that will then we hope to provide a nice ambience for you, then you can do some shopping, eating, and so on. But if you're being rushed and you're standing in line, you're probably not in the mood to do that. So in that sense, we're working with all the people that provide service each step of the way. And I think it is always looking at the little step. There's no magic bullet that you can all of a sudden get people through. It's working with, from the airline side, who does the, the, the checking in at the counters, working with the security company that provides a security service, all of those, how we can shave a little bit of time here, shave a little bit of time there, and how we can provide a pleasant experience as they go through those, those, those pieces. So in terms of operational efficiency, I mean, what's the magic number? I mean, when somebody enters the doors of the airport and gets through security into the departures area, what time would you put that well, against that? Well, we look at you know, airline. It's very important because airline today do gate close. At some time, they will not check you in. What we're looking at today is between 45 to 50 minutes. And those are the time. So you reach from the time you check in till you reach the furthest point at the terminal building and catch your plane. So, and don't forget, airline also start boarding about 20, 20 minutes before. So therefore, you really have about, looking at 50 miles, 20, about 30 minutes in your journey time to go through the rest of the processes. You said earlier that we were increasing your infrastructure. I mean, how much importance do you put behind retail and how much more of a presence will that have in the new buildings you're developing? Well, it is equally important. Uh, to me, the first view I have, my view of a, of a passenger uh, terminal building, 
is to cr what I call create hassle-free flow, right? Because not everybody wants to shop. So my, my view is the, uh, the, what I look at for in a designer terminal building is to allow passenger to go through the process and get to their gate in as effective and efficient a manner as possible. So that a lot of time, especially a passenger that's not used to terminal, and I, I myself have done that when I go to new terminal, I go find where the gate is first. Now that I've found it, I know where it is, I know the time I'm available, then I can relax and go back and do other things. So to me, when I look at a terminal design, it's the way to allow people that want to most effective and efficiently get to the gate. But once they have time, or once they know or they're comfortable where they are, I want to provide an environment that they can feel they can shop. But that, let's get them relaxed and comfortable, different services, different offering, because again, the, the thing about an airport, you got a passenger that's, that's buy a uh, low fare uh, ticket, at the same time you've got a passenger that may have bought a first class ticket, and they're all mingling in the same terminal building, you've got to provide the right offering to all of them. I think certainly it's, as you said, operational efficiency, but it's also ease of navigation. That's right. um, um, I quite like the idea of these message boards that actually say you are X number of that's minutes right. away from gates. That's you know, one to four, whatever it That's is, right. uh, they work. They, they, work. Cle they clearly yes. work. Um, one last question. If there was one sentence that you thought best described the airport, or best as it is, or even as you'd wish it to be, what would it be? What I wish it to be, I don't think we're there yet, is for a passenger to come through and said, I had a wonderful, hassle-free experience going through the, the, the airport, and the amenities and the shopping that I want to do along the way is also one of the best in the world. That would be the, what I like the passenger to say. Howard, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.